I'm Jessica Dalcourt, Senior Associate Editor at CNET.com, and today I've got a first look at the Samsung Craft for Metro PCS. This phone has the distinction of being the first ever commercial 4G handset to run on the LTE technology. That is, as long as you're in a Metro PCS 4G supported area. San Francisco wasn't at the time of the review, so we were stuck with 2.5G speeds. The Craft is a nice looking phone. It's totally black and glossy, which means that it's also smudge prone. There's a very nice 3.3 inch AMOLED touchscreen with the talk and end and clear buttons below. And on the back, there's a 3.2 megapixel camera plus camcorder with a flash and a vanity mirror. Slide the face to reveal a spacious QWERTY keyboard. The keys felt pretty flat, but we didn't have any problems typing. Inside, there's a lot to like about the craft. It's got the TouchWiz interface with widgets and three home screens. We like the trays for readily accessing widgets and programs. There's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, a music player, and support for HD video playback. You'll also find email, IM, and a social network app. The email app supports webmail, but not Microsoft Exchange, and the app is too cramped for the touch screen. On the whole, it's pretty easy to get around the craft, and we like the look and feel of most of the native apps. There's also a slew of Metro PCS services on board, like the Navigator, a backup app, and stores. Keep in mind, though, that while the Craft has a lot of features, it is a feature phone and not a smartphone. The lack of 3G support is the biggest drawback for those who aren't in the carrier's 4G network area, and the Craft was often slow to respond to touch. We also noticed a pretty bad echo during more than one of our test calls, but call quality was okay overall. However, it is one of the most advanced feature phones you can get for Metro PCS. The Craft costs $299, including a $50 instant rebate, and it requires no contract. I'm Jessica Dulcord, and this has been the Samsung Craft for Metro PCS.